Morning everybody, welcome to Chester Zoo. My name's Tom, I'm one of the rhino keepers here at the zoo. Um, and if you stick with us for the next few minutes, we'll take you through what it's like for us um, every day during lockdown. And let's start by introducing you to a few of our black rhinos. member to the squad. She's uh, three months old. She's having a little bit of a roll over here because I'm giving her a scratch under the chin. I guess you guys might know about the conservation issues these guys face in the wild, you know, with them being poached with their horns, which is uh, incredibly sad. Their horns are made of something called keratin, which is the same protein we have in our hair and nails. It has no value, you know, medicinal value or anything like that, but it has been used um, as a status symbol in up-and-coming economies like Southeast Asia. Um, so there's only about 600 of these guys left in the wild. And this sort of hands-on stuff we're doing here with Kasulu is really important. The more hands-on we are with her now, you know, it means that later on in life, if anything, you know, if she gets any skin issues, anything like that, it means we'll be able to sort them out that much easier. It just means she's going to be that much calmer, really, uh, and that's fantastic. One thing we have to do during the day is feed our rhinos pellet balls. Um, it's really useful because it means that we can see whose poo is who because we put corn or wheat in the poo and that goes straight through the rhino out in the poo. Um, also, it's an absolutely great time for us to check on their oral health. Um, when we're giving the pellet ball, we can look right into their mouths. We have the lovely Jumani putting on a show here. Come on. He's having his nom noms. This is a uh, mum, mum and calf or sub adult now because you want to see And if you have a look at the, uh, the pellet balls here, you can see some of the wheat sticking out of the balls there. They absolutely love them. So we're back in Sava, our on show Black Rhino house with Katani. Um, and Katani has been having a few problems with the skin recently. Uh, magpies have been coming in and giving her a little bit of a peck, which has uh, been creating small wounds. Um, so one of the best things we can do for her is to apply mud to her skin. Mud wallowing is like a normal behaviour for these guys, part of their behavioural repertoire. Uh, it's actually fantastic for their skin. Uh, it helps keep the sun off in Africa, you know, it keeps the flies off as well. Um, and it really like, helps like, moisturise them up and keep them um, silky smooth. You know, really creates a really good barrier, keeps the birds off and covers the wounds themselves um, and means they can heal really well underneath. Um, and Katani's being very patient here. She's uh, happily being fed carrots by Alicia and Rachel is um, sticking mud on one Hi. side and then what we'll do is spin around and we'll put mud on the other side afterwards. Okay, so it's browse time, favorite time of the day. Um, all of our black rhinos and great one hunt rhinos here at the zoo love their brows. Um, this is one day's worth. This is a load of oak here um, and this will be fed out tonight and tomorrow morning um, and basically when we call uh, species browsers it means that they like to eat tree branches and tree leaves so it doesn't look like much at the moment because it's winter um, but you know when it's big green leaves and things like that they absolutely love it they'll, they'll munch the whole thing so we've got to sort out into lots of different piles it takes about an hour so you best crack on show Sarvo Black Rhino House at Chester Zoo. Um, over my left shoulder we've got Gabe, a young male. Um, he's a bit of a cheeky chappy. And on over my right shoulder we've got Katani, who is an older female. She was born here at Chester back in 1997. Um, so she's uh, been doing very well here for quite a time now. They are a browsing species, meaning they eat um, tree branches, tree leaves, um, sticks and things like that. Um, but they also, in the zoo, eat something called lucerne. Um, so they have some of that in the morning and then we'll give them some more um, in the afternoon as well, last thing in the day. Right, we hope you've uh, enjoyed this look behind the scenes here at Chester Zoo with us on the Black Rhino team. Um, it's hard work, but we love it. Um, and hopefully uh, we'll see you soon. So from uh, me and Gabe, bye.